<laughs> All right, guys, good evening. It's Rob here from Rob's Rod Shop. About four, five, six, 27 times a week, <laughs> I get asked, what is the right Holly EFI system for me? And there's three basic Holly EFI systems, excluding the sniper system, which is basically a, a carburetor replacement. But tonight we're going to discuss the three universal systems that they make for multi-port injection and the options that they come with and the questions you should ask yourself before deciding on what unit you're going to buy. So let's get kind of into it right now. Uh, the three systems that we have is going to be the Terminator X, the Holly HP, and the Dominator unit. Now respectively this one is the least expensive this one is kind of middle of the road expensive and this one is the most expensive however this of course comes with a lot more options than either one of these do uh, and they're both or all three really really good when used in the right application for what uh, what they were intended for but the first question that I ask when trying to decide uh, what Holly EFI system is right for a customer is what fuel is it going to be on? If it's going to be on M1 or a leaded fuel, then the Terminator X is not the right option. The Terminator X comes with an O2 sensor that in my personal opinion is really susceptible to failure with leaded fuels and it will not read M1. The Dominator and the HP both ha have the option of an NTK O2 sensor which will do M1 and is not susceptible to failure with leaded fuels. Uh, the NTK O2 sensor holds up and is far more superior than the Bosch that comes with the Terminator X. Alright, so the next question that I ask is what injector is it a low impedance injector? If it is a low impedance injector, in order to save money, the injector pack can run low impedance injectors without of the Terminator X. So it will not run low impedance injectors. Keep that in mind when ordering this unit. Uh, the next question that I like to ask is how many inputs and outputs do you need? The Terminator X, the HP, and the Dominator, all three come with eight inputs and outputs, four inputs, four outputs, uh, located on the main harness, which is the same for each one of these. So if you buy a Terminator X, and you decide to upgrade later to an HP and decide to upgrade, upgrade later to the Dominator, the main harness and the main power harness will always be usable for each of the three. So there's no use in buying harnesses again. And this, this kit is generally so cheap that I tell everybody, you're buying harnesses, a screen, um, and an O2 sensor, and you're getting a ECU for free. That's basically the rundown on it. So how many IOs do you need? This comes with four inputs and four outputs, four inputs and four outputs. This one comes with roughly 40 uh, inputs and outputs. So it also comes with the capability to run a second O2 sensor. And the HP and the Dominator both come with uh, the option to run traction control, which we'll get to in a minute. So if you need more than eight, Terminator X is not your option. HP is not your option. The Dominator is your option. Okay, do you need more than one O2 sensor? More than one O2. If so, Terminator X is not the correct option. HP is not the correct option. Dominator is. Do you require a screen to come with your package? Basically, is, is buying a screen separate going to be too much money for you? Uh, let's say, free screen. Let's put it that way. Terminator X is the only one that comes with a free screen.
It is a three and a half inch screen, but it is a very good usable screen. Okay, do you need traction control? If you do, Terminator X does not have it. However, HP and the Dominator both have the option to download it, upgrade the software to use it, and then add a drive shaft speed sensor uh, in order for it to read and produce a map for you to go off of for your traction control. Now, the last one uh, I feel like is very important in some cases and not important in most cases. Is it going to be wet or is it going to be hot where it's going to be installed? Some people only have the option to put the ECU close to the engine and if you're going to and it's going to be exposed to the elements, let's say it's going to be in a boat, it's going to be um, in a buggy, it's going to be out in the weather a lot. The Terminator X is not waterproof and it's not heat resistant. Uh, in order to save cost on this ordeal, uh, they did not pot it in an aluminum case like they did these other two. The HP and the Dominator both are completely 110% waterproof uh, and they are very, very heat resistant. Both of these can be stored in the engine bays. The Terminator X I recommend be stored in the cabin somewhere completely away from the elements and uh, not extremely hot. So anyway, this is kind of the basic rundown that I do. Uh, when somebody calls me and says, what system's right for me, Rob? I say, hey, what fuels it on? They tell me, eh, well, if we're only 85 or pump gas and we still want to make a bunch of horsepower, uh, the Terminator X will work, okay? Uh, are you running a low impedance injector? If you are running a low impedance injector, it completely knocks this out altogether. We've got to move up. Uh, but if you are running like a Bosch 210, uh, you can still make a ton of freaking horsepower on that. And by the way, a lot of people ask me, what horsepower is this unit limited to? It's not limited, neither one of them is limited to horsepower at all. They're limited on fuels, and as far as you can take the fuel, all of them will go there. Uh, and they're both excellent, excellent, excellent for what they're designed for. I really think this is designed for more streetcar applications, um, stock to kind of mild, 1,000 horsepower or less, uh, E85 pump gas kind of combinations. Uh, these are made for, uh, I think, more extreme conditions. Uh, let's say M1 race gas, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 horsepower applications. Um, but either way, none of them horsepower limited. The only thing you're limited on is your fuel and your injector size. So just keep that in mind. Um, how, how many IOs? If you're running a turbo car, these two units are going to be tapped out pretty quick if you're trying to do bump box, boost controller, uh, that whole nine yards. Same thing goes with a nitrous car. If you're trying to control multiple stages of nitrous, your IOs are going to be burnt out pretty quick on these. Uh, I do suggest stepping up to a Dominator. Um, free screen, you can order a couple of these kits with a screen, but the basic baseline kit uh, for the Terminator X, all of them come with a screen. So it's just a three and a half inch, but once again, it's awesome, very detailed, very user friendly um, screen. Tracks control, uh, there's a very, very nice downloadable software uh, upgrade expansion from uh, Holly EFI to go in and upgrade both of these uh, to do traction control. Terminator X does not have that option. And once again, heat and elements, uh, please uh, do not subject this to a lot of moisture or heat. Uh, it could fail on you. I'm not saying it will, but it could. It's not suggested that you do that. Both of these are just troopers, man. You can about put them anywhere you want to. But anyway, that's Rob. If uh, I'm Rob, if you, um, if you're going to buy a Holly EFI system and you need to make the decision, this is kind of the basic rundown. You can about make the decision on what you need just based on this. But anyway, this is Rob Drodshop. Have a great night, guys.